press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update from Adda 247. Bell icon the baye Adda 247 ki sari notifications paye. Adda 247, government job in your pocket. Hi friends, this is Archil and I welcome you all on Nada 247. Here is another session of root words and as you all know, this is one thing that can help you a lot in your vocabulary. Why? Because if you learn only one word through learning articles or through reading articles, you learn only one word, right? But then if you learn one root word, so wherever this word gets attached, you can easily make out the meaning of that word right so this is what we mean by root word and with one root word you can obviously form five six seven words out of it which can help you improve your vocabulary really easier in an easier way and in a faster way as well right so let's begin with this and for this session the first word is nov now see whenever we have nov written somewhere this talks about being new Okay, so this talks about being new. So we can make a lot of words out of it like we have innovate, we have novelty, we have novice, we have renovate, we have novitiate. Now understand the meanings of these words. When I say innovate or when I say innovation, Right? So, innovate, what does this mean? It means something which is already there and you add on to it, you improve something from it, that is what we mean by innovate. So, innovation, what does this mean? To introduce. Is that, it actually means to introduce. Introduce, that means being new. So, innovate means to in introduce in a new way. Now, what is the basic difference between innovation and invention and discovery? So, innovation, invention and discovery. Discovery means something which is already present there and you just find it out from somewhere, right? In invention means that you make out something new. You do something, some experiments in the, and something and then you make out something new. That is what we mean by invention. And if something is already existing in the market, if somebody is something is already there in the market and then you add some to, something to it in just in case you can improve it or you can make it better and then you introduce it in a new way that is what we mean by innovation right next is novelty now you must have heard of this that novelty shops are everywhere in the cities right so whenever i say novelty shops novelty shops means anything which is new to the market anything which is newly introduced to the market that can be fine in the novelty shops so novelty shops are everything and anything that has something or everything new in it right next is novice novice is actually a person who is new to anything either at school either at uh, job or at school uh, college anything anywhere if you are new if you are a fresher to something that is what we mean by novice so we say what a person who is new at the job whatever he is doing job means whatever he is doing he is new to it right next is renovate renovate now the word eight everybody knows eight defines what verb then we have the word re re defines repetition of something something is done again and again so that is what we mean by re and now we know the meaning of eight eight means verb we know the meaning of no that means new we know the meaning of re that means repeat so what does this mean it means to make to make that is eight right to make something new new defines no to make defines eight and there needs to be again here and again is the word that defines re here so renovate means to make something new again then we have the word novitiate now see novitiate is again a novice novice in a religious order 
So, if somebody is new to the religiousness, if somebody is new to the acts of religion, that is what we mean by uh, novitiate. So, novitiate is actually a novice, but novitiate is only and only related to the religious purposes. And novice can be a person who is new to anything, who is new to any job, right? Now, I hope you understand the meaning of no re eight over here, right? Now, moving further, we have the second word, and that is O C U or O P T. Both of define uh, both of them define something related to I, or Q or opt, right? For example, we have the word binoculars. We have monocular. We have oculist, we have optic, then we have optician. Now, beginning with the very first word, we have by written over here, right? By defines what? By defines two, being two. Then we have the other word that is mono or uni, it defines one, right? So, by Binoculars are something for uh, use for both the eyes. Monocular is anything related to one eye, right? So, binoculars is actually a lens device for both the eyes. Lens device for both the eyes to see distances. To see distances. That means if something is far off from you, you can easily use a binocular to fit in the lenses and then you can easily see what is there. May, no matter that uh, that thing or that person is really far from you, but binoculars can help you out in uh, looking at that thing or at that person. Next is monocular. As I told you, mono is related to one. Mono is related to man, one. So, monocular is something that relates to one eye only, relating to one eye. Now, see, if I say I am going to have an operation of only one eye, that means you will have monocular operation. That means that is related to only one eye. Next is oculist. Now, wherever the word ends with IST, that will form only and only one thing and that is your, your person. So, oculist is actually a person that is related to eye. So, an eye doctor will be called an oculist. Next is optic. Again, optic is related to what? This means relating to the eyes. Anything that is relating to the eyes is what we mean by what? Optic. Then we have the word optician. A word that ends with I-A-N again defines some person or something, right? That again defines person. So, when I say optician, this is again a person, a person who fits eyeglasses. You only buy a frame from somewhere, right? And now, the person who is selling the frame will not fit the glasses. There is a person who is called a, or an optician and that person will fit in the glasses, will fit, uh, will fit in the lenses in your frames and that person will be known as uh, optician, known as now. That person will be known optician, right? Now, moving further, we have this third word and that is Ob or op, ob or op that talks about being negative. Ob or op. This is related to something being against or in a way. Next is the word here are object, obscure, opposition. Objugate, oppressive. Now, try and understand the meanings of these words. When I say object, everybody knows that object is a noun. But here we are using object as a verb to define something against, define something negative in sense. When I say object, or you must have seen in court sessions that object, what does this mean? Objection, my lord. That means if somebody who is standing in front of you and you do not agree with that person or with that person's statement, that is what we mean by objection, that is what we mean by object. So, when I say object as a verb, this means what? To be against 
something, not supporting something, not agreeing with something. That is what we mean by um, object. Next is uh, next is obscure. Obscure means hard to understand, hard to understand or against your understanding, right? For example, if you get somebody from your great grandfathers, and if you introduce something to him and something new to him, something innovative that we have we are using right now. So if I say you can make a call out of a phone, so will he accept that? Maybe he will or maybe he won't, right? So that is something against his understanding, something which is against your, and for example, maths. Maths is obscure for me. That means I cannot understand maths at all. I, it is really hard for me to understand that and that is what we mean by obscure. So something which is against your understanding, that is what we mean by obscure. For example, you must be having trouble in English, so that is obscure to you. I have trouble in uh, maths, so that's obscure for me. Okay. Now the next word is opposition. Opposition is again objection. Opposition as objection means what? To be against something. So opposition means what? The act of resistance or action against something. If you act against something, that is what we mean by op uh, opposition or the act of resistance. That means you do not accept anything. If you do not understand anything and you do not accept it, you do not agree with it, that is what we mean by opposition. Next is objugate. Again, the word eight is mentioned and eight defines what? Verb. So, objugate, what does this mean? To denounce harshly. To denounce harshly. Before I understand the meaning of objugate, you need to understand the meaning of denounce, right? Whenever we have the word N O U N or N U N C, denounce, that means nuns or nouns, this, this talks about the declaration of something. This talks about the declaration of something, speaking something in front of everybody. That is what we mean by nouns or nuns. Now, whenever we add D to something, this talks about the negative form of it. So, when I say denounce harshly, this means what? This means that you are criticizing something a lot. You are condemning something a lot. You are saying negative things about something a lot. And that is what we mean by objugate, to denounce harshly. Then we say oppressive. Oppression is something related to forcefulness. If somebody does not want to do it and if somebody does it against his or her will, that is what we mean by oppressive or oppression, right? So oppressive, this, this means harsh pressures. Coercion, you understand the meaning of coercion? Forcefulness, ask something, ask somebody to do something out of force, out of forcing him or her, that is what we mean by oppression or yeah, coercion. Now, moving further, we have some more words. We will talk about nuns and nouns in the later video. Now, the next word here is neg, neg, that talks about being no, not, never, Actually, this will define something being negative, right? For example, we have the word negate, we have negative, we have renege, we have abnegation, we have negligible. Now, understand the meanings of each word because each word has neg in it. First of all, when the word has neg and eight, eight defines verb, neg defines no. That means what? You are doing something and saying no to something. That is what we mean by negate, to say no or to say it didn't happen. So if you do not agree with something that something something has happened or something has taken place, that is again negate. And if you say no to something, that is again what we mean by negate. Next is negative. Negative is actually an adjective, a word that ends with I V E, forms an adjective. So when I say this is negative, you are actually defining an, defining an adjective to it. So when I say negative, this means what? This means meaning no something which you should go against of. Next is renege. Renege means what? To go back on a promise. 
If you promise something and you do not fulfill it, you go back on it. That means you do not agree with your promise only. That is what we mean by renege. Next is abnegation. Abnegation means what? This means self-denial. If you stop yourself from doing something, you if you stop yourself from doing something or if you stop somebody else to do something to you is what we mean by abnegation, self-denial. Next is negligible, that means insignificant, something which is not important, insignificant, not important or not meaningful. Even if you do it, it's of no use. That is what we mean by negligible. Something which is able to be ignored is what we mean by negligible, right? So I hope you must have understood the meaning of NOV and OPT and OQ. With this, you must have understood the meaning of neg, nans, and obs. Now, moving further, we have the word this. As I told you in the later part of the video, we'll discuss about noun and nans as well. So, noun and nans, as I told you, they mean what? They mean declaration of something. So, declaration of something that means declare something in public. Now, you can make a lot of words out of it, like we have a noun. A very common word, right? Similarly, we have denounce as we have just studied about this. Then we have enunciate, we have pronouncement, we have enunciation, right? Now, if I talk about the first word itself, announce, you must have read about this word a lot many times. Why? Because announce is a word that defines something that is related to the announcement, the declaration of something, right? So, announce means what? It means to declare in public. For example, if a statement arises that the uh, winner has been announced, what do you mean by this? Will the winner be announced between two or three people? We, do we do that? No, we don't do that, right? Announcement is already, uh, always and uh, generally done among a lot of people out there. So, that is what we mean by, what? That is what we mean by announce. So, declare in public is what we mean by announce. Next, we have a uh, noun, but a word D is associated to it. And D defines something negative, right? D defines something negative. So, denounce, what does this mean? Denounce actually means something related to negative. For example, if we talk about the word throne. Throne means giving opportunity, giving authority, giving responsibility to somebody. But when I say dethrone, this means what? Taking the responsibilities back, taking the authorities back from somebody is what we mean by denounce. So, D is actually a word that defines negation, negative. So, when I say denounce, this means again, what did I tell you? This means to proclaim harsh criticism. Then we have the word enunciate. Now see, eight is written, that means a verb. Nance is written, that means declaration. E defines something as we say expansion, as we say extension. That means that exaggerates something, that uh, makes something bigger in amount or huge in amount. That is what we mean by E. So E defines what? bigger or uh, making something huge, something that related to being extended or expanded. So, when I say enunciate, this means that you are declaring something, but very clearly and loudly so that every person gets to know about that. So, enunciate is what? Nothing but to speak or declare something clearly and loudly. Right? Moving further, we have pronouncement. Now, pronouncement, what does this mean? A formal or authorized announcement is what we mean by pronouncement. As the word pro defines pro what? Professional. Prof pronouncement, what does this mean? It should be declared, it should be spoken as it has to. So, pronounce word that you don't pro pronounce or pronunciation, both of them defines what? The actual way of speaking or declaring a word. Next is enunciation. This is nothing but the declaration of something, anything which is declared. 
declaration of budget, declaration of bills is what we mean by annunciation. So, I hope now nouns and nuns are absolutely clear to you with this video. And here we come to the last word of this video and that is note, that is N O T or N O T A that talks about nothing but being marked, marked as important, marked as being, uh, as being not so important that is what we mean by not or nota. Now, when I say notable, what does this mean? When I say notarize, what does this mean? When I say annotate, what does this mean? When I say connotation, when I say notarity, when I say denotative, I see denotative and connotation are actually same meaning, it has same meaning but, but with a different expansion. Now, when I say notable and whenever a word ends with a b l e, this defines being capable of something, right? Being capable of something. So, when I say notable, notable means what? Marked as important or something which requires an attention, something which is worthy of attention, right? So, marked as worthy of attention, something which needs attention, something which needs, uh, needs you to notice it, that is what we mean by notable. Then we have notarize. Notarize I is, is actually a verb and notarize means when you, for example, if you are taking out withdrawing a, a huge amount from your bank and you sign a check, that check will be certified from the banker to your legal document, right? So that is what we mean by notarize certifying or checking to certify a sign on a legal document to match the sign to examine the sign with a legal document is what we mean by notarize. Next is annotate and annotate means what? To add remarks to something. Then we talk about connotation and denotative. Talking about this I will tell you denotative is a word that defines the literal meaning of something, right? Denotative is a word that defines the literal meaning of something. And if you overtone or undertone that literal meaning, that means if you exaggerate that meaning uh, to a positive level or you exaggerate that uh, meaning to the lev lower level, to negative, that is what we mean by connotation, undertone or overtoning something. Then we talk about notarity, this defines marked as ill reputed, something which does not have a good sign, something which does not have a good will, uh, something which does not have a good name amongst the people, that is what we mean by notarity, right. So, I hope you must have understood the meaning of the words that has, that have been taught to you till now and in this session. With this, I would like you to make at least 5 words out of 8, re, bi, mono, uni, ist, ischian, able, e, D, nouns and nuns. Apart from these, I would like you to make five words out of each root word that you have just learned today. So, thank you for watching this. We will meet you in the next session. Till then, keep watching Ada247 and keep loving it. Bye bye. Press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update from Ada247. Bell icon the bye, Ada247 ki sari notifications bye. A.247, government job in your pocket.